And I got you, my lord. I'll eat you out. <laughs> this motherfucker wants me to have twins so bad. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we got a big selection of Mexican treats from Oxo, and we're gonna be showcasing them. And while we're showcasing them, we're gonna be answering your guys' questions that you guys asked in one of our previous videos. I tried a lot of snacks today that I have never tried before, and probably he hasn't tried either. If you guys been to Oxo, Mexico, you guys already know there's so many damn snacks. So let us know in the comments, guys, if you guys have tried any of these snacks or what is your favorite snack from Oxo. Personally, I would say these two are my favorite. These squinklets, these are bomb, and then I also love crankies. The squinklets? What's your favorite? Oh, we didn't ask. Oh, my man. Anyways, you guys, stick with us right now. We're about to go shop for them, and then you guys are gonna come back with us. And let's get straight to it. Okay, y'all, so we're on our way to Oxo right now. We about to spend a band. How much do you think we're gonna spend? A band? Are we actually planning on getting, like, every single... Yes, that's what the video says. Everything? <laughs> We can't do way too much, bro. Like, we got this little bag to shop. Like, what are we gonna keep taking everything to the counter, bro? Like, motherfuckers are gonna beat us up. They're like, why, why are you fat asses ordering so much? de su puta madre, estos influencers pendejos. <laughs> so good, aquí. Oh, that wasn't funny. Nah, yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, so let's get into it. I'm really excited. We got some juicy questions for you guys, too. So put your seatbelts on, hold your horses, and get ready. And get your snacks, too, because it's about to be a banger radio. Hold yourself from the rails. You ruined Don't fall from the bridge. <laughs> you ruined it. You ruined it. I wouldn't, am I? Ya llegamos. Let us know in the comments, guys, how much you think we're going to spend here in Oxo. I'm going to give it this meal. Nah, those uh, mean. Yeah, those mean. I'm gonna say two, two thousand pesos. That's what I think. Okay, y'all. Starting off with the chips. They're small ones of almost everything, so we can get a lot of these. Ooh, I know he's excited. Time to eat. When it comes to the galletas, y'all, nobody beats Mexico. I don't care. I don't care. These are the best. These are. These are the best. Okay, y'all, so we just got back. I felt so bad because there was literally only one cashier and a lady was behind us. <laughs> but y'all, tell me why this whole entire bag, whole oh. entire bag, only costed around like, what, 700 pesos? Yeah, 700 something pesos. But look at it. It's like the size of like five Alexis heads. Ain't that amazing? Wait, it's like the Alexis size. already has a really big head and like five of them fit in there. No, it's like the size of like Michael's booty. I do got a badonk down. All right, guys, so we'll see you at the house. Okay, y'all, so this is all the stuff that we have bought, starting off with the chips over here, and then we go into galletas and all the dulces. Y'all, look at this. A lot of this shit I have never even seen before or tried. Like, I haven't tried this, 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 this. This is my favorite right here. This one I've never tried, and it looks really yummy. And then this, never seen in my life. You've never tried this? Yeah, so we got a lot of snacks. We're gonna try every single one of these and we're gonna answer some juicy questions. Guys, I'm pretty sure after this video, I'm gonna be out like for a whole year because my stomach is gonna be fucked. This is a lot of chucheria. A lot, a lot, a lot of it. And you look good as shit in this lighting. <laughs> I just did my beard. You see my sharp jawline? Yeah, we see it. Ooh, look at that. I don't know why, like, I'm so good at- <laughs> Ah! Oh, that shit is so sharp. You're fucking- Not too much. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna pick the first question. And I'm gonna pick the, the first thing we will try. I think what should we try we should try first is one of my favorites that are these. These are called trispas, and they're like papas a la francesa. French fries, but like a little bit spicy. I've never tried these before. Wait, bruh. <laughs> these are fucking good. Mm, y'all, these are bomb. Wait, fuck the questions. Let's like start trying some of these, cause mm. oh my. These are a nine for me. These are good, but like... They have a potato-y taste, a little acidic, and a little spicy. Those are bomb. Christmas! 
on recommended level, that's a recommendation of 9 out of 10 for me. If you guys go to Mexico, try those. I'm gonna pick the next thing because I've been looking at these, I've been staring at these. These been eyeing me back and forth. I wanna try these rollitos, rollitos de tamarindo. They're basically like tamarind rolls. They're tamarindo rolls. I literally love anything that has tamarindo. Oh my god, guys, look at this perfect incision. These look curious. Look at this. <laughs> it's literally like a little circle roll. Wait, let's try it together. These kind of smell like Play-Doh. I know because I personally used to eat Play-Doh. Because Play you used to eat Play-Doh. I, I know, I can tell like sometimes like you'd be saying stupid <laughs> if you guys, Who I eats Play-Doh? Down below? <laughs> team Play-Doh or team glue? What do you guys eat as you a Play-Doh? glue? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, we can tell. Guys, if you ate Play-Doh, let me know down below. You're gonna eat all that? Is that not how you eat it? Yeah. I don't know how I feel about these. Look in the middle of that, y'all. They're not hitting. I need some water after this. Yeah, this is not that good. Man, I had fucking high hopes for you, mother trucker. It tastes too artificial. Y'all, look at these. Never get them. These do not really try in. Uh, recommendation level, 2 out of 10. I guess. Zero. I'm a huge fan of tamarindo, and I would never eat those again. Okay, so you pick next. You pick next. This is like the funnest video idea ever. These. I don't think I ever saw these as a kid. These are fritos. Fritos is a brand that do these kind of like scoop type of sabritos. Let me show you. Let me show you what they are. Smells pretty plain. But this brand does like little sabritos. Wait, I think they know. We got fritos okay, in America. You guys have fritos? in America? Yeah. You like the smell? It smells like kind of not like nothing. Yeah, it smells like kind of like nothing. No, this it kind of smells like like nothing. Like, like, like nothing. Like there's nothing. Like nothing in the bag? Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Okay, try it. Wait, wait, together. One. Oh, sorry. Oh. It's too little flavor. I like it. Like, I feel like fritos themselves, they don't have a lot of flavor. The original ones, they have like no flavor. So to me, this is like hella good. Like, we got a kick in here. We got some spice. That's like a 5 out of 10 for me. I'll rate it a 7. The chili limon flavor is supposed to be the best flavor of your brand. And it's very lacking. Mm -hmm. Like, it's very lacking. Like, it seems like a white person made these, huh? Yeah. It's not like, too much offense to a white person. Those are good, but they wouldn't be like... I wouldn't crave those, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's why I gave it a 5. Like, yeah. it's completely like mid. Literally mid. <laughs> Literally mid, guys. Literally! <laughs> okay, y'all. So, I've been waiting to try these. I always see them when I go Noxo. And they are these panditas enchilados. Ooh. Ooh, have you tried these before? No. Yeah. Yo, when I was in high school, there would always be hella people selling like gummy worms. Like with chamoy? And chamoy. They had a name. I don't know. We Spider? Spider-Man? Yeah, totally. They called us something in my high school, but I forgot what it was called. Okay. Wait, wait, let me see. <laughs> Mine has a head and yours doesn't. One, two, three. That's good. It's spicy. I did not expect this to be Ooh, spicy. These are really good. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, they are spicy. Mamma mia. <laughs> Mamma mia. Oh, shit. These are addicting. These are a pop. They're what? Pop? Was that not slang like nowadays? No. <laughs> oh, these mm. are popping. No, bro. Pop and popping is not a thing. These are busting. <laughs> <laughs> these are really good. They have like the perfect amount of like everything. Like the sweet, the salty, and the spicy. I knew these were going to be bomb. They're at Walmart. Not sponsored, but they're at Walmart and also. I would definitely recommend these. I give these a 9. Yeah, those are a 9. No, I give them an 8 because I wish there was more like... I wish they like did more. I'll give them a 9 out of 10. Like it's kind of what you're expecting from these. They're exactly, exactly what you're thinking. It is it. Guys, let us know if you guys want more videos like this because we're down. Like whenever yeah, you guys down. want. Whenever you guys yeah, want. Yeah, whenever you guys ever want, like just let us know. <laughs> like, Let's try these. These for a period of time of my life were my favorite and so i realized like they were way pricier than the normal like the normal chips these are actually popcorn caramel popcorn they are freaking bomb you know when you're eating popcorn at the theater and one popcorn out of a hundred is so good it's like very puffy so good all of these are like that with caramel no way yeah. yeah. wait your hands are sticking no yeah a little bit yo look at this like all of them all of them are like this. Like, look how round Ooh, and puffy they look. Good. Hey, that looks like something. Wait, why did you not wait for me? <laughs> Hungry ass. Okay, these are... Not that good? These are a bit stale. Stale? Let me put it to the test. Yeah, literally. These are ass. They're supposed to be crunchy. No, I swear to God, they used to be good. The, I just got a bad bag. The favorite is there, yeah. There's no crunch. There's no crunch. Listen to this, y'all. There's nothing. nothing. The flavor is there though, you can't yeah, lie. The flavor is there. It's just not a good bag. I can't stop eating them though. Uh, uh, damn. <laughs> 
It's so funny because like I've been trying to stay off sweets because my teeth have been hurting recently and then we do this video But like I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. So rating flavor wise I do gotta give it that's a nine bro. Like it's, it's sweet. It's really good But this bag was still so it was kind of like chewy. It was like a four on texture before we're like oh, oh, oh. Okay, that's enough. Okay y'all so let's move on to the next <laughs> seen these and I was like we need to try these of course you want to try the nuts shut up you guys know I love anything like enchilado so these are some cacahuates enchilados you guys see that as soon as I seen this boom you know what I love about Mexico like everything be enchilado or has jalapeno or has limon even the mayonnaise here y'all oh, like yeah. it's so good I feel like this is some shit you won't like put it in your hand like this that's, That's one? Motherfucker. <laughs> Your face. You're like waiting. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you guys ready? Okay. Show it again. That's a good handful. One. Oh. Two. Mm. Those are the good ones. Ooh, those are good. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get up and start twerking right now. So these guys, these are like perfect what you're expecting like from cacahuates, bro. Perfect spice, perfect lemony flavor. Those are really good for cacahuates. That's a 10 out of 10. Like you really just think I'm gonna do shit? Yo, these are really good. I rate these a 10. These are probably my favorite in the whole video. Yeah. There's some people that really don't like acarbatis, but this is it. Like you probably like this if you don't normally like it. Like this is him. I'm him. 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 These are crema y especias. What's it called in, in English? Uh, Cream and specials. Oh yeah, spices. I'm not a big fan of Lay's. Where are these Lay's? Yeah, they're Lay's from Mexico. One. Cheers. Why you get two? I like a crunch. You even got a little one hidden in there. These are not my favorite. I love it. They're very flavorful, but they're soft. They're like soft flavored, you know? The chips are bomb. Like the chips are made with perfection. Like I hate chips that be hard as fuck on your teeth. Like these, like how you said, these are soft, like. They are crunchy and stuff. I like the flavor. If you guys don't know, I'm a chip connoisseur. Like I ate chips every day growing up. And this is it. He's a chip connoisseur. He's a boxer connoisseur. He's an architect connoisseur. He's a Portuguese connoisseur. He's a sushi connoisseur. He's a burger. Burger connoisseur, he's hot a dogs. hot dogs connoisseur, he's a Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi connoisseur? I know the best type of Wi-Fi, man. He's a Valorant connoisseur, he's a Minecraft connoisseur, he's a Switch connoisseur, the list goes on. I just got me a man of all trades. I can do it all. Everything can. Yeah, we see it, we see it. Yeah. Like, I think we all see it. Alright, so let's move on to the next. I don't really like those that much. I read them a seven. Really? They're like good, but like I just don't like that flavor. They're a eight. They're like being honest, like it's not something where, where I'd be excited for. It's something like if I see at a party and no. nobody's touching him, like, ah, I got you, my boy. Now I'll eat you out. What? Okay. You just be saying anything that comes to your mind. Like, <laughs> literally, guys. How many kids do you guys want in the future? What? I want as much as I as I can have. Oh, you want to be a hoe? Oh, get the fuck out. We've talked about this like so many times, but like, I feel like I also do want a big family because like, I don't want to be a little grandma and have like nobody around me. That's fucking sad. So right now we're saying this that we'd want to like a lot. I think like five would be ideal. I would think four max. But I feel like maybe our mindset would change like after our first one. After our like never yeah. again. I don't know, like, we're adults already, but, like, sometimes we don't feel like we're adults. Like, yeah, it's like, we gotta do shit every day for the rest of our life. We're like, damn. Man, like, but that's responsibility. Oh, another motherfucker gonna be around, bro. I'm like, we gotta take care of him. Like, god damn. Like, sometimes we can't even barely cook for us. Like, no, did I? <laughs> hey, cook for yourself, bro. He's on three. <laughs> we're He's giving like, you rent-free room. So this is why we wanna wait when we're, like, old and bored as fuck with life. And then I feel like we can have kids so yeah basically like what we say right now is that we want to have a lot but like later on but like might change after we have like one kid and then we're like Fuck. yeah and i feel like we want to we want to have kids when we have all the time in the world to give to them like yeah. i don't want to have to focus on working for me personally it's hard to like manage my time good so like with the kid on that too i'm like bro you in the way of my goals like move yeah <laughs> I, but i feel we have enough time to accommodate like yeah because we have like obviously good jobs you know we have a lot of free time to ourselves mm -hmm. 
But at the same time, like, what if in the future we move somewhere where it's more hectic, like mm -hmm. a bigger city? Then that might wanna like not make yeah. us wanna like do all that. But right here in Colima is like perfect. Like it's very yeah. chill and like it's I love it here. This is the perfect place to have kids. Yeah, so I'm gonna say four max. I'm gonna say max? No, yeah, I wouldn't go higher than five. I don't think it would go higher than five. Well, I hope not. God, you're not pushing on the fucking kids. But what if you have twins? This motherfucker wants me to have twins so bad. I'm it's like, like two no, no, for no. the price of one. So he says, I'm like, bro, you're not pushing two babies out your cooch. I can be there though. Like, remember? Oh, hey. No, he's probably gonna have fucking worse symptoms than me. Have you heard of like husbands that can feel like the symptoms or whatever? I'm probably gonna be one of those. You man. are. That sounds convenient. <laughs> Baby, I'm craving Chinese. Let's get Chinese food. No, even the ones that like get like morning sickness and stuff and their stomach hurts. I'm like, that would be <laughs> Why do I already have that? Yeah. No. Wait. Are you pregnant? Am I pregnant? <laughs> okay, I'm next, y'all. Mm. So I'm gonna try these. Ooh. Submarinos. Submarinos. Those are bomb, dude. So where I used to live at, I had like a store like at the corner, like walking distance, like super, super close. Every night, like after dinner, I would walk there, get myself some with a cup of milk. Wow, so good. Is your favorite? So these are the Mexican Twinkies. They are so good. I don't know if they changed over the time. Let's uh, let's share one. Nah, I want my own. <laughs> I want my own. So I used to love Twinkies when I was younger too. Okay. They also have these with strawberry, but he said the ones with vanilla are better. So that's way true. better. Just missing the cup of milk. Well, this brings me back to my childhood too. I used to love Twinkies, but these are better than American Twinkies. These are missing, like dead ass missing some milk right now. What is that? Before? These are good, but like, guys, the sweetness have been hurting my teeth. I think I have a fucking cavity or something. Okay, so these Mexican Twinkies, soup marinos, don't forget about it. You guys gotta try them when you come over here. Like, try them with some milk. Boom. Bomb. I really gotta get it in the dessert end of things. I gotta get it a 10 out of 10. Like it's really hitting. You can like dip it in milk, bite it by yourself. You can eat it with drinking milk. Like, you can make it gourmet. You know, you know what's funny? They call submarinos as in submarine to go in milk. I've never tried it with milk. I'm not really the biggest fan of milk either. I love bread with milk. I can't eat pancakes like without milk. I can eat it without syrup, without toppings at all. But I need milk because it's like bread and stuff like that is like too dry, you know? That's probably why your stomach's so fucked up because you're literally like lactose intolerant and you love milk. Facts. <laughs> Can't even deny it. It sucks. Like, you guys know, like, just by genetics, like, Mexicans, like, are mostly, like, lactose intolerant. Like, it's really, really common. It's so Yeah, I was, like, tripped out when I first came here to Mexico because all the milk is, like, lactose intolerant. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of people get tripped out, like, coming to the Starbucks here or, like, ordering coffee here because they ask you what milk. And, like, over there, they don't ask you what milk, but it's because everyone, like, gets this lactosada aquí. But the topic of Starbucks... Fuck Starbucks! Fuck Starbucks! Oh, Fuck Starbucks, big time. Don't go to Starbucks, please, guys. We already quit it. You guys can quit it, too. It's real simple, actually. I've been making my coffee at home, and it's, like, so much better. It, I don't know. Yeah, just learn how to make coffee. It's... Mm, so good, bro. Also, guys, I think I'm gonna do like trying coffee shops here in Mexico, like trying every coffee shop in the city. Let me know if I should do that. I feel like that's a bomb idea. I don't know, it is a pretty good idea. Let us know down in the comments below if she, do it, if she should do it by herself or if she should bring me along. Oh, it's like from my channel. No, but like, leave that in the comments, guys. You could get one, but like sit in the background and drink it. Like, just like, I'll be cameraman. Cameraman. I'll be cameraman. No problem. <laughs> These are the other fritos. These are very run on here in Mexico. These are the best fritos. The best fritos you can find. These fritos are flavored chorizo y chipotle. What? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. These are pom. I've definitely never tried this before. Let me try. Oh my god. They're so good. Damn. Se nota. Se nota. Whoa, flavor. We really don't like them. I'm gonna be honest. Really? That seems like two cans of bounce that ass. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. These are really good. These are the, the only fritos that have like a lot of flavor to them. They have a lot of flavor, but like, I wouldn't say that it's good flavor. I don't really like them. They're bomb. My dad get hella hate. Like, they have a really weird taste. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't taste exactly like chorizo and chipotle, but it tastes like a good combination of it. It tastes good. You know what it is? Like, I don't like snacks that taste like salado. Like, I like dulce, 
sweets, stuff like that. Like that tastes too much like food to me. It does like, taste like food. Yeah, that's what I did. Like, like are we eating a full course meal? I'm just trying to have a little snacky snack. You're making me not like want to like it, but like this for me is like an eight out of ten. Really? I give it a four. There's a time that these were my favorites. Like as because as a kid, I don't know if you guys know. Here in Mexico, a lot of kids will eat sabritas not really because of like, oh, I want to eat chips that much, but because in the sabritas they used to come with tassels, and tassels were these circle plastic little things that had like pictures of like cartoon characters or anime characters or Pokemon stuff and you would get as much as possible and you used to like gamble them in a game where it's called a game called tassels where you put like the tassel you're betting on the floor and then you have a tassel shooter like what it was not a tassel shooter but it was just another tassel and you were hit it and whichever you would flip you would keep so you would put in like I'll bet you this one and the other guy was like I'll bet you this one boom really? yeah That's if so you're funny. good at it you're collecting so they were collectibles uh -huh. They were like special edition ones and stuff like that. And they're like, I'll bet you my special edition for a 10 stack of yours. There would be different periods where they were like give different collections. Like sometimes they would be like Pokemon. Sometimes they would change to like SpongeBob. And like one of the times that I was doing the best, I think it was with WWE. I had like the biggest collection in school. And this, really? mother and this motherfucker I thought was my friend fucking stole that shit. And I never knew what happened until later on. He he's like showing off his collection. He was real quiet about his collection. He was showing off his collection. I was like, wait, you got a lot of those. Dude, I I see my fucking my shooter test so like my special one and stuff like that I'm like bro what the fuck and he just ran I got him back afterwards but it was already the end of that period of like th those tassels Damn, I was like, he came up on your shit he came up bro okay so the next thing we're gonna try we got a lot of stuff I feel like this video is gonna be hella long okay so I wanna try these gancitos I know these are really popular in Mexico they're a staple Mexican snack and I don't think I've ever tried this maybe not staple I never liked gancitos no I only like gancitos when they're frozen when they're frozen, they're pretty good. I don't know if you're gonna like it. You used to always see it on ads and everything. Gancito, gancito, gancito. And it's very well known, but like, I never really liked it. I think it. that's what it is. Like, real well known. Like, I've never tried this, but I've heard of gancito so many times. Yeah, like, there's better options. I'm scared to bite it with my teeth because I know this shit is full of sugar. I could feel like a tingle on my tongue of the sugar. But this is not nasty. But damn, that's yeah. a lot of sugar. It's chocolate, vanilla of the pancake kind of thing, like the bread. And it has strawberry like syrup. So I'm gonna rate this a five. Like it's not nasty, but I don't think I would ever get it again. Now this is like a three, four for me. Like yeah, I maybe really would cool. not get this. I feel like this is like straight for kids, you know? Frozen, it's a different story though. Because it takes like longer. It's not just one bite and you get all the sugar. Like frozen, it's like takes longer to eat. You see they sell them frozen here on the street? Yeah, <laughs> it's like how you're supposed to eat them. Eat them. Dude, my accent has been getting worse now living here in Mexico. Like I worked so hard to better my English. And like lately, like my English, has been messing up. And Alexis always bullies me for it. No, it's okay, babe. She always calls me like inverted no sabo. That just says that you speak two languages, babe. You should be proud of your accent. I actually speak three. You follow Portuguese, carajo. Tostitos are like the canvas of like a good, like simple chip. I've had the normal ones. We got the normal ones here, and then we got the spicy ones. The spicy ones I've never had because tostitos alone, like you would really use them like as kind of to like dip or like tostilocos. You guys have had tostilocos before. They're super bomb. You use tostitos for those. But these flaming hot, I've never had. Let's see how they are. Ooh, those smell good. Oh, you could like smell. Really? Smell the, smell the chili through the bag. Mm. Those are really good. These are good. You know what they kind of taste like? Like you can really use that with agua chile. Uh, yeah. These remind me of a chip in the US. I don't remember what they're called. But they kind of look like this. Flat and they're like a hot chip. You know what I'm talking about? I think it comes in a purple bag too. Ooh. I'm telling you, you guys can literally eat that like with shrimp and it would be an agua chile. Mm -hmm. These are very good. I'll give them a nine because they do, like, they are very spicy. Like me, like chips, I binge eat chips. So I like grab stacks of chips and I keep eating and eating and eating. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm pinche gordo, no? But these are too <laughs> spicy to do that. These are really spicy for me. Huh. Before in the past, I was able to eat a lot of spicy, like a lot. What happened, I really fucked up my stomach. So like for a whole like two years of my life, I stopped eating spicy stuff. I stopped eating chips in general. I used to eat hot Cheetos day and night and like not shit happened to me. You used to eat canned vegetables. Your stomach is like very strong. Damn. I grew up used, like eating like the, the, real, the, vegetables. the real vegetables. <laughs> Mom, you see this? 
All your hard work. <laughs> hey, say I'm sorry. Okay, y'all. So I got a question we're gonna answer, and then I'm gonna pick the next one. I wanna try these. Nopalia. I honestly don't know what these are. These are like they're churritos. I just con nopal fresco. What? These are churritos made with nopal. Fuh, fuh. Really? The churritos are very typical, like in quinceañeras and in weddings. You know how they put like a little plate in the middle of the tables with chips, duritos, and all that stuff. A lot of the times they put some of these. They're pretty dry, but let's see how these are. I've never seen like. Like made with nopal? I've never seen that. That's why I got it, because I was like, nopal, Mexico, like, Mexican. <laughs> Con el nopal en la frente. Mexican. Read the question. Read the question. Read the question. Okay. So the question, would you ever live in somewhere else other than Colima? Another state in Mexico could you see yourself in? So you can answer that first, because you've been to like all around Mexico. So you see yourself living in another state? Mm, I feel I would be able to live in any city as long as like I'm living like in a safe area. If I'm in a safe area, like it's just comfortable. There's like one thing less to like worry about. But the other factor is that I gotta be near a beach. The beach is like such a good thing to have nearby. So we have not went to the beach fucking once. I know, but it's there. <laughs> just the idea oh, that no. it's there. And it's not just because of having the beach near that. It's also because there's a lot of seafood and it's fresh. Mm, that's why. That's the real reason. Yeah, I, I'm in love with seafood. Like, my love, Alexis. Hold on. Where are I? Family? And Alexis is part of family already. Family slash Alexis. And then seafood. You're going to put seafood in front of us, huh? <laughs> nah. He's like, wait. No, but like seafood, bro, when you wake up late and you're like, let's eat something, but you don't feel like eating breakfast, you go to a marisco spa, un coctelito, un aguachile, unos tacos capeados, fuck, bro. Ew. I'd have to say, I would probably maybe live like in a city in the peninsula of Yucatan. In Yucatan, Yucatan. maybe Merida, Cancun, maybe, I'm not sure because Cancun is very touristy. Veracruz, where, where does Yeti Mar yeah, live? Veracruz. I would live in Veracruz. Veracruz is also nice. Apart from that, that's all I can think of, really. They have like a peculiar, peculiar taste. And I like it. These are definitely the best churritos I've tasted. But like, they don't really taste like churritos. Like, it tastes more like the seasoning they put on it. To answer that question, from the places that I've been in Mexico, I would live anywhere that I've been to. I don't think I would live in Guanajuato. Like, not San Miguel de Allende. I want to live there just because how, like, how touristy it is. I prefer San Miguel de Allende than Guanajuato. I prefer Guanajuato. Guanajuato, like, there's nowhere to live. It's like between mountains. So it's yeah. really cramped. I would also live in Durango, Durango City. I follow this guy on TikTok. He always talks about Durango. Why do you follow the other guys? I get the toxic. I would also live in Mexico City, 100%. I would live in Guadalajara. I would live in many states in Mexico. Like, I would love to move to different states of Mexico to live for a little bit. But I feel Kunima will always be my home. Like, I would always want to come here to live the rest of my life. And, like, have my kids grow up here. People don't believe it, but Kunima is amazing. Beautiful. It's my hometown. Yeah. I like these a lot. There's something I don't like from them. I wouldn't I wouldn't need that. I wouldn't need like go I to the store. Those. I get those with seven. I would recommend those to people. Like those are good to me. Like I would eat those like those I don't eat at parties. And because they're there, normally you just put some chili on it with some limon. And they're good, just as it is. These are like, they don't really taste like what they're supposed to be. Alright guys, so I feel like we've been recording a long ass time. And we still have a lot of snacks to go. Look at this shit. So I think we're going to speed, go through them, and eat them. And give you guys our right. We're not going to answer no questions, no talking. Just eat. We some eat, eaters. Eat. Apples and bananas. Okay, y'all. So we're gonna start this banger off with with these, with these. Let's start this side to that side. They're like mango gummies kind of thing with spiciness. Mango michas. Mango michas. Okay, remember we're, we're speed running this. We're speed running. Why, why are you going so One, fast? two, three. Mmm. Yeah, this some good gummies. Mm. I give these an eight. Oh, yeah, they're kind no, of hurting my teeth, but they're good. I give those a nine. Mm. They're very gummy. Next, cacahuates japoneses. These cacahuates are the ones that have like a crust to it. They're fucking good. I used to be obsessed with these. Cacahuates japoneses are really popular here in Mexico. You can put chamoy on them. Just chamoy. Mix them. Bomb. One time, as a birthday gift, I asked for a big bag of these. <laughs> I swear. As a kid, I asked for a big bag of these. They gave it to me. I ate it like half of the bag in one night. It was like a really big bag. Next morning, I woke up hella sick. I never ate them again, bro. <laughs> I ate like in one night, 
like I got done with them. Like my whole cravings were out. I don't know, like they're always so good. These are good. I'll give them an eight. So neutral classics. Like you can enhance the flavoring with chamoy and stuff like that and make it a 10 out of 10. These by themselves are like easily an eight. Next we have these rancheritos. Rancheritos. These were my favorite when I first got to Mexico really? as a kid. I, I've never tried these. Look at this, y'all. They look really good. Open this one. Ladies first. One, two, three. You like like food flavored snacks. I don't. They don't taste the same as before. Tastes like kind of like enchilada sauce. Yeah, I really like these. Like they don't taste sweet or like a snack to me. They taste like I'm eating food, but they, there ain't no food. <laughs> Those, I'm not gonna lie, they're not that good. Before they used to be way better, but now they're like a... Uh, booty, they taste like booty. Yeah, it, it was like a five. I give them a four. I didn't show you guys, but these are called... Fruits. And they're like a... Uh, oh, these smell good. What are they called? Marshmallow, strawberry in the inside cookie? These are really good with milk. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's different. That's different. Oh jeez. Oh, uh, uh. Holy. Holy guacamole. I'll give this a 10. I'll give it a 9. Like, it's not like cookies. Like, cookies are supposed to be like very, very, very soft cookie. It's just like into your mouth, like. Yeah, so soft. It's a very good marshmallow. I feel like strawberry. this is really good. The only thing is why I'm gonna go back to nine. Because if you eat too many, they're yeah. gonna yeah. This is like a little snack and I'm out type deal. Like bitch, I'm out. These are Alexa's favorites. They're called cranky. These I do not really like alone. Alone? Yeah, I don't think I'll like it either. But Alexis loves this, she says. It's because we always get frozen yogurt and like they'll put cranky in the frozen yogurt and it's so good. But like alone, I wouldn't snack on these alone. Yeah, there's a thing about us that chocolate is not our favorite thing. We get like tired of chocolate very easily. And these are very good, but like I'll get yeah. tired of them after like two bites. Yeah, like too much chocolate, I can't. They're really good though. Flavor wise, this is a nine. I give them honestly like a seven. Seven? Those will like hurt my teeth if I eat them too much. They're crunchy. With frozen yogurt, I'm giving them a nine. Yeah. Uh, Top. Till this day, and the day I was born, these are my favorites. Look at them. Emperador. Emperador sexo. Emperador sexo. Sexo? Good way to ruin the moment. Yeah, these are pretty good. Go down. That's a fucking cookie done right. That shit is really done right. Like it's crunchy. There's enough chocolate to not get tired of it. You're uh, right. With the milk, they taste fantastic. Like fucking crazy. One time I, I was in a fight with this guy, with this older guy, and literally his backpack was full of these cookies. And like, ¿quieres unas? I'm like, no. Pero por qué tienes tantas? Like, ah, es que a, a todos mis hijos les gusta. Bro, <laughs> these are so good. They're perfect. No, for real. When you guys come to Mexico, try those. Emperador Senso. Fuck. Okay, y'all, so the camera's about to die, so we're gonna try one more thing. The best for last. These hurry, 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 Whoa. Everybody knows these are fucking good. That's exactly how I eat them. Straight in the mouth. Oh my god. Straight to work. Oh my god. Is that, oh, fuck. Damn. Ah, damn. No, 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 that's it, man. What? This is for later. Mm. Guys, we ended this video with a 10 out of 10. Mm. Actually, if you guys enjoyed the video and stayed all the way to the end, like and subscribe, it's for the free. And as always, we appreciate it and love you guys so much. These are so much better than the ones in the US. These are like spicy, hey, everything like, like, babe. Yeah, boy.